Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited to bring to you our um, first video of our uh, renovation home series. So, um, to give you a little background, my husband and I bought this house this summer and um, we have been fixing it up with the help from family and friends. Um, but we've been able to do a majority of the work ourselves. And when I say ourselves, I mean me and my husband, but also our family and friends who have been super helpful to us this whole time. Um, so I am just really excited to take you through each room of the house um, and show you some of the things that we are doing in them or that we have done. So I'll be sharing before and after pictures. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a YouTube channel when we first got this house, so I don't have footage of everything that we've done. But um, as I take you through each room, I'll provide pictures of what it used to look like and show you exactly where it was and all that. So anyways, long story short, Today's video, okay, my camera cut out there for a second, but what I was saying is that this video is all about our backsplash. Um, I was able to record the process from beginning to end, and it wasn't your typical just putting up backsplash on a wall type of deal. We had to cut out some drywall and put up new stuff, and you'll see. Just stay tuned. You'll see all of that. But uh, yeah, just stay tuned on my channel for more videos. A kitchen tour is coming soon, as well as a lot of other house tour videos and home renovation videos. So enjoy. Say cheese, guys. I almost want to take it out. <laughs> cheese. You know what I mean? I don't want to take it out so that it's flush with the. That's what I'm thinking. But Okay, so as you saw from like little snippets of the video, we are redoing our backsplash. Uh, the previous owners had countertop that actually went up on the back as well. So their countertop was a backsplash. And when that came off, it ripped part of the wall off. So then the wall was all uneven and you can't really put tile on an uneven wall because then your tile's all uneven. And I'm pretty sure that this wall wasn't really strong enough to hold the tile anyways long story short we ripped out the wall to the studs that's the installation that you see and then the studs to about here let me turn it about right there so in about two weeks my dad is gonna come help us He's gonna help us put up drywall and also uh, do some electrical work so we can have a garbage disposal. But after that drywall is up, me and Cam can do the tile backsplash ourselves and then this kitchen will finally be done. I uh, haven't filmed the whole kitchen process, which I really wish I would have, but I started YouTube kind of after that, so that's why. But when I do my home tour video, I'll kind of explain everything that we did in here. But for now, we'll be living with installation. So today, my dad and I are putting up the drywall and he is helping me run electricity down so we can have a garbage disposal. So he's getting his tools, but I'm just taking out some of the old installations so we can drill holes into these and run the wire. And this is the current state. It's down to the studs, so um, putting the electrical box right there for a plug. And then the cord will run over here to a switch to turn on and off the garbage disposal. And then um, the power will go underneath to plug the garbage disposal in. And then after that, drywall. Okay, the wires and the boxes are run. We just need to hook it up and then we'll put insulation and drywall. You just get your first cut and then do you just break it or you just go deeper? Uh, sometimes I, this stuff's a little thicker than your regular drywall so I kind of go through it twice just to make sure it's...
Okay, the drywall is up. A beautiful green drywall. Um, we had to get a water resistant drywall since it's going behind the sink. We're supposed to do that, I guess. Um, my dad just left, he helped us put it all up. Okay, I brought home some backsplash samples to decide. Um, I thought that this hexagon one would be my favorite just because it's really different, but I think since our cabinets are retro um, and that gives off a retro vibe, I don't know, something about it, I'm not a huge fan, so I don't think I'm gonna go with that one. Bowls. Um, this one in the middle here, I think it's just too big. It's a really small space, so I think that one's just too big, sadly, even though I really like it. This one, the medium size, I really like the size, but maybe hard to tell. But it's actually kind of a little bit of a pink tint to it, so definitely don't want that. I think this one is the winner. I like that it's not your traditional subway tile. It's long and skinny. And then I also like that it's got... It's like a little bit uneven. The top is uneven and it's hard to picture, but it's uh, got some texture to it. I'm currently at Lowe's picking up our tile for our backsplash. Um, that is the one we're getting, I think. Here she is. Guys, today is the day, finally. Um, I'm not even sure of the last video I took in this little backsplash redo video. Um, I do know that the last video I took was on my iPhone, and this is on my new Canon camera that I got for Christmas, so the quality is going to be a little bit different. Um, but the holidays and stuff and traveling slowed us down. We finally, finally are doing our backsplash today, I'm so excited. Okay, just a little reminder what it looks like. Just the green new drywall that we put in. It's like, so what, you put this here and then you so, put the yeah, place together? So yeah, I put that other tile. I didn't have enough glue up here to get on this side. So I can set it here? Mm -hmm. Do I just butt it right up to it? You can put it anywhere you want, and then you can adjust. Don't move this one, because that's where we want it. So okay. you can move this one anywhere you want. Then do I put, it, put this in or yeah. no? Well, laying the tiles all done. Um, looks kind of orange here, but it's, it's gorgeous white subway tile. We just have to um, pull these out further and put the plates back on. Um, but before we do that, we need to just do our grout. Um, 
which we're gonna shoot for doing tomorrow so we'll see how that goes um, and then after the grout we can pretty much be done with it I think um, we've never done grout so I'm not exactly sure how to do it but we'll figure it out we'll just do the grout put those plugs back in and then it's all done in our kitchen will finally finally feel complete okay I'm looking like a hot mess because we've been doing that all day um, but I just wanted to explain it just a little bit for those who maybe have never done this before this was my first time as well we had someone help us and teach us so what you do is um, you put the mortar which is kind of like glue on and then you place your tile in place and then you use these these are just little spacers so you make sure that you have even spacing between all of your tile um, and then obviously you have to cut certain pieces um, to fit into place and then after that you just grout so it's really not as intimidating as everyone thinks the hard part is you have to have a wet saw but we had um, somebody who let us borrow one so I highly recommend if you're trying to redo things on a budget ask around like ask on Facebook so many people have tools that they don't use all the time that they're like more than willing to lend out so that's what we've done a lot and um, I forgot to mention one thing that we have to fix um, so this was kind of janky these windows are original to the house so eventually we're going to replace them which is what this is this wood so we are going to and it goes up over here so we obviously couldn't tile up to that because if we wanted to take the window out we'd have to rip out the tile that's kind of dumb so we are going to either do like a piece of trim here or i'm not exactly sure what we're going to do we're going to figure it out that's what we've just been doing this whole time just going with the flow and figuring it out so cam you want your you want your sponge to be kind of a dry wet so you bring it a bunch and like it's after we get right here we'll clean this and i'll let you but you're just you're not really putting pressure you're just wiping the surface because you're not trying to get into that grout okay sweet You can see in the picture Welcome to Tiling with Cam. My name is Cameron Hoskins. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, look at these two work. Grouting the tile. Alright, baby. Who knew? We'd be tiling. And then I already see a hole right there, Cam, so hit that again. Mm -hmm. Yep. And don't don't angle it so much. There you go. That's like, better. Like yeah, just don't dig into it. Yep. Oh, just let it. Yeah, like exactly. You're getting kind of floating on it and As you guys just saw, we did our grout today and we are done. Well, mostly done. We just need to um, wipe it down a couple more times just to get it, get all the grout dust off. And then we need to just, uh, here I'll show you guys, we need to just put our plugs back on and then we're good to go. So tomorrow we will put our plugs back on and wipe it down a couple more times. We're gonna let the grout dry. Here is an up close. Like I said before, that was our first time doing grout and it was so easy. You just literally rub it on there and then you wipe it down with a clean sponge a couple times and that's it. That was probably the easiest part. And um, the best part about all of this is that Cam and I really got to see how easy it was to do tile neither of us have ever done it before um so we really want to now jump in to some more projects we're talking about doing our kitchen floor which right now is just this ugly i think this is called vinyl i forget what this type of floor is called um so yeah we think we're gonna start looking at tile for that now that we know we can do it cam cut all these and I put them all up like I think we're ready to tackle some more tile projects so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, look out on our channel for some more videos 
some more um, home update videos. Bye guys.